Honey Barton, and I'm an ITT Tech grad. Scholarships and financial aid are available for students who qualify. Call 800-657-6854. That's 800-657-6854. All right, we all know I am a mess in the kitchen. Believe me, you don't want to see it. But if there's one thing I know and love, it's a high quality cut of steak. And there's a big Australian dinner party every day at every Outback. And today, we're lucky to have the meat guy, Chef Adrian Richardson, here with some big, big steak news. Good day, mate. Good day, Matt. See, how'd I do that? Was that okay? You did it really well. Nice and relaxed, almost like an Aussie. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, tell us about what your partnership is with Outback right now. What do they have going on? Well, Outback is all about serving quality food, perfectly cooked, um, in a relaxed Australian environment. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Nice and relaxed, cool and calm. But what we've got is uh, the center cut sirloin steak, which is the most tender cut of all. And that's what, we're, that's what we're, we're showing people. And that's what this is right here. So tell us a little bit about it. Like what makes it so unique? What makes it so good, really? Well, I know a lot about the, the, the different cuts, but the center cut is the most tender. That's the most tender. So when you cut into it, all the moisture, the flavor, the juices are in that piece of meat. And when you put it in your mouth, that's when you taste it. That's when you taste how good it is. And you know a little thing about meat being the meat guy how do you get a nickname like that where you're walking around with that hanging over your head all day well, i love meat i yeah, love everything course, about it yeah. and, and i even wrote a book on it um, i cook a lot of meat back at home in australia so so i do know quite a lot about the different cuts of meat mm -hmm. and that's why this cut the, the center cut of the sirloin i know is the most delicious cut it's the all-rounder it will fit it, it, everyone would love it it fits everybody's palate you can't you can, can you cook it a wrong way yeah, you can always you can always muck up the cooking of it, but they don't do that at Outback. Yeah, Everything's yeah. cooked beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the center cut is is the everyone's going to love it. You know, it's got that right amount of moisture, the flavor. Um, it is tender. Um, it's just a beautiful cut of meat. And with Outback, we got the opportunity to go bigger now, right? That's right. I mean, yeah. Outback is so generous. Yeah, and and if, you, if you get online and go to outback.com forward slash go bigger, you can, uh, you can you know, register and you can go bigger on us, which is what it's all about. And every, going Outback is so great because you got everything. You got the blooming onion, you got all the great sides and everything with it. But when you go in there, how do, how do you ask them to cook your steak? I mean, I know they do everything perfect there already, but how do, you, do you have any extra tips or anything? Well, for me, I like my steak medium rare or, or medium. And mm -hmm. I find that that's the best way to keep the moisture in, in the steak. That's where it belongs but but matter if you want to have it well done or cooked any other way just ask them and they'll cook it for you um, I mean the the, the, the steak that the center cut is so tender that mm -hmm. it will it, it, it'll go well done on you but I reckon if you pull it back a little bit medium medium rare I think that's the best way to enjoy the steak beautifully now we were talking about garnishes but then we were also talking about stuff you put on top of it what do you put on top of your steak well, well, it's a little I, different well I, I mean you can see, see the steaks here has got the potato and you've got veggies there mm -hmm. as well but I sort of push that aside I put a little bit of mustard on it and I get in the steak my thing is to eat and enjoy the steak and then if uh, then you have some vegetables which is good for a balanced diet exactly and then a little bit of potato I reckon if you go for the potato first mm -hmm. you might fill up which is what you don't want get into the steak that's what it's all about I'm gonna try that mustard thing that smell this smells great I might try it with this for more info head to our website studiodtelevision.com Yum, we're going to stay on food. That's yes. okay with you guys. Please. Oh, please. Okay, a popular new New York uh, ice cream parlor is starting a bit of a darker trend and has introduced black ice cream. And it Ooh. is jet black. Morgan Stirr's finest ice cream premiered coconut ash ice cream made with, you guessed it, coconut ash. Mm. Now, coconut ash is a form of activated charcoal that has recently become a go-to ingredient in juices, pizza, cocktails, even toothpaste. The owner had a fancy chocolate bar that had coconut ash and it prompted him to create coconut ice cream and put it on the menu. Now it's accompanied by coconut flakes, coconut cream, coconut milk, super coconut flavor that is said to temporarily dye your mouth black. Ew! <laughs> I was, I, you had me until you told me I was gonna turn my mouth <laughs> black. Temporarily. Are you guys coconut fans? I am a big coconut fan. I don't like yeah. actual coconut, but I like the coconut flavor flavored. Of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people really do not like coconut at all. Yeah. And I think this coconut ash is really cool because they're putting it in a lot of different products. It's yeah. dark black. I mean... It looks like one of those products that when you eat it, you're expecting to taste something else, and then you taste coconut, and you're like, wait, well, like, what this is, is that? confusion. Yeah. yeah, They have really cool flavors there. And, of course, we all talked about what our flavor, our favorite flavors of ice cream are. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys... We same, have the same, same ice cream flavor. Yeah, so ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia. So good. It is cherry ice cream with chunks of cherry and chunks of chocolate chip. It's a great marriage. Everybody gets some. <laughs> so good. Now that you explain so it good. that way, I've got to so try me good. some Cherry Garcia. You've never had it? No, I've oh. not. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. And your favorite? Okay, Pralines and Cream from Baskin Robbins. Specifically. It is the best thing to life. Yeah, there's little like pralines and, and I, I've always like gone back and forth. I'm like pralines, pralines. I don't know. My dad used 
used to take us to get ice cream every Sunday at Baskin Robbins growing up, and this was my go-to. Because you like the crunchy nuts. The crunchy nuts, yeah. Okay. See, mine is from my childhood too, because that was what my parents would buy all the time. It was yeah. their ice cream, so it was the only thing that was really around, and I just now it's my favorite. Okay. And, and then Matt's favorite. He told us about this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What it is, is that? <laughs> that is the Mickey Mouse pop <laughs> from Disney World. That is a true story, actually. So. Is that true? Oh, I know you're trying to be funny, Wait. ha ha, with it, but yeah. no, that is a true is story. That's you really, really do like it. I get it. one every time I'm at the parks. So. No. You do? Yes, I do. Every weekend yep. you have one of those? Not every weekend. <laughs> once, a month, once a month, I got to re up my pass, okay? You know, that's your favorite. <laughs> yeah. I was going that's back and forth with Matt between <laughs> Superman ice cream, you know, that like rainbow yeah, flavored. Yeah. Yeah. But then we had to go with the wall, do a little thing. No, so. that, that's actually a true story. So. I love that he oh, storms in here. He's like, that's actually He's like, I'm about favorite. to make my point. It's called a Mickey bar. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Oh. I thought it was called a Doolittle bar. A Maddie bar? <laughs> she put Sorry. his hair uh, Coming up on Studio D, a lesson in virality. Check out this teacher's effort to show her students how far the internet can take you. And later, the inside scoop on the next Food Network star. When we talk to one of the new season's contestants, we'll be right here on Studio D.